Hello, this story is Sakazuya. Her true story. This is the true story of a young American Indian girl. She lived 200 years ago. Her name was Sakazuya. You say it like this, Sakazuya. Sakazuya was a Shoshone Indian Shoshone. The Shoshone lived in the Northwest. The Shoshone loved horses. They used bows and arrows to hunt. Other tribes had guns. From time to time, other other Indians came and stole their horses. One day, Sakazuya was picking berries. Suddenly, the herd gunfire. It was a raid. Raid. Sakajuya took off across the river, but she did not get far. A warrior grabbed her and carried her off. Sakajuya grew up as a cap captive of the enemy chief. A fur trader came into camp one day. His name was Charbonnuya. Charbonneau. Charbonneau. He and the chief gambled. When the game was over, the trader had won Sakajuya. She was still a teenager, but now she was the trader's wife. The trader and his young wife made their way to North Dakota. One day, American explorers appeared on the river and came in a big barge and two small boats. The Americans have even brought along the, their pet dog, Simon. Curious Indians lined the banks to watch. President Thomas Je Jefferson had asked the explorers to find a route from the Missouri River to the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Their group was led by two men. One was named Murray Weather Lewis. The other was Captain yeah. William Clark. The Indians called Clark the Red Headed Chief. Sakazuya husband knew how to talk to the Indians the Indians in words and sign language. Louis and Clark asked him to join their group. Ice was forming on the river. The explorers built a low part fort and wait for the spring. In the evening, one of the men would play his violin. The adult would dance. Sakazuya just sat and watched it. The white male music. Man's music. Man's music sounded strange to her. She didn't she didn't feel like dancing anyway. She was going to have a baby very soon. One day in February, Sakazuya felt the baby coming. The pain went on for many hours. 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 Finally Louis gave her some medicine. He made it himself from the tail of a dead rattlesnake. Ten minutes later, Sakajuya had a son. She called him Pomp. By April, the ice had melted. The explorers, the, explore. the explorers, were ready to set out with their boats and canoes. <coughs> the India, the Indians had told Lewis and Clark the mountains lay ahead from uh, of them. To get across, they would need horses, Shushan horses. Only Sakajuya spoke Shushan. So, so she went along with the, exp the explorers with a little pump on her back. Right from the start, Sakajuya showed her courage. One, one time of courage. courage. One time of Ghost of wind tip, tipped her boat. Carbon, Carbon knew, panicked. 
he dropped the rubber, rubber box of supplies and slid into the water. Sakajuya leaned over the side and grabbed the box before they were swept away. Without her kick sinking, the, expo the explorer would have been in big trouble. Soon the group came to a stretch the rapids mm -hmm. and water uh, mm -hmm. of rapids and water waterfalls. To go any further, they would have to roll their boat onto wooden sleds and drag them around the fort. They jumped to, ma to many weeks. Captain Cloud and Trevor New went on ahead to scout the loot. They took Sakajuya with them. Even with the pump on her back, she could walk as fast as the man. One morning, they were exploring a deep ravine. It started to rain, so everyone huddled under a rock glass. Suddenly, Sakajuya heard a loud roar. It were from and mud was bearing down on them. It was flesh float. Everyone scrambled for high ground. Sakajuya had a pump with her arm. She could climb very fast. Carvernew pulled her after him. Captain Clark pushed from behind. They got out of the ravine just in time. The explorer push pushed on. The wide river was now a small stream. One day, Sakatsuya saw a tall rock. She knew this place. The Shushans called it Beaver's Head. There are some, there are some more hunting grounds must be nearly. Reese and a few scouts went, went ahead. Soon they met three Shishan women. The women were scared. Were the stranger going to hurt them? But Louis put lead paint on her cheek. This is a sign for peace. Oh, of for peace. peace. How did he know that? Sakajuya had told him. Mm -hmm. The Shishan chief and some of the of the Indians went on, went to the explorer's camp. The explorer's camp. The chief met with Louis and Clark inside a big tent. When Sakazuya went inside the tent, her heart filled with joy. The chief was her brother. She burst into tears and rushed to his side. The chief agreed to sell them first. Now the explorers could get across the great lucky mountains. It was only September, but the mountain trail were, were icy. The horse carried the supplies. The men had to work. Their feet grew numb from the, from the cold. For once, Sakajuya had an easier time. She and Pump got to ride. There was much food left. Sakajuya dug up some rocks that were good to eat, but it was not enough not enough for the hungry man. Day after day, the men went hunting and returned empty hand. Once they were so hungry that that they killed a horse and cooked it. Sakajuya was hungry too, but she would not eat her meat. At last, the highest mountains were behind them. The explorers had reached the land of a tribe called a uh, Nispers. They were fancy lobes with shells and porcupine uh, quills. On this side of the mountain, the river ran west toward the Pacific Ocean. The explorers set to work building canoes. The Nespers agreed to take care of the group horse. But now they faced new dangers. The river was swift 
and full of rapids. One cannon hit a rock and flipped over. Luckily, no one drowned. Along the banks of the river, there were many Indian villages. At first, the, the Indians were, were ready to attack the strangers. But when they saw Sacagawea and Little Pump, they changed their minds. No war party would bring a mother and baby alone. About 20 miles from the ocean, the, ex the explorers made camp for the winter. One day, there was news. A monster had washed uh, up on the, on the beach. Captain Clark knew that uh, the monster must be a whale. He decided to take a few men and get some of the whale's whale meat. Whale meat? Sakazuya begged to go along. She had come all this way. She wanted to see the great sea. Clark agreed. On a cold day in January in 1806, 18, 18, Sakajiya got her wish. She looked out over the Pacific ocean. Then spring came, the, expo the explorers were ready for their return trip. On the way back, they faced more hardships. But Sakazuya was always, always cheerful. Captain Clark admired her for that. He gave her the nickname, Jenny. He called Pomp my dancing boy. At one point, Pomp came down with a high fe fever. Clark tried everything to save him. Even, he even made a, a cream out of bear fat to love on the little boy neck. It worked. Soon Pump was aware again. At last, the, the explorers reached their old winter fort in North Dakota. Dakota. They had been a, away away for one year or four months. The, the Indians welcomed them with loud cheers and gave them one corn of corn. Now it was time for Sakazuya to say goodbye to Liv, Louis, yes. and Clark. Captain Clark offered to adopt Pump and send him to school. Sakazuya said no. Pump was too young to leave her. Two years later, Carbonio and his family moved to Steve Louis. They bought a little farm from Captain Clark. But the fur trader couldn't get used to the quiet life on, on, of a farmer. He gave his wife to join a group of traders headed for the Dakotas. In the winter of 1812, 18, news came at Carbo. That Carbon knew the young wife has died there of a bad fever. Was this the end of Sakazuya? Maybe not. The Shushan said that the woman who died was one of the wife of Carbon They said Sakazuya had left her husband and had gone to live with the Komachi tribe. Many years later, an old woman returned to the land of the Shushans. He, she talked about Louis and Clark's journey to the Pacific. She showed people a medal with President Jefferson's picture on it. Was this woman the real Sakajuya? If so, she lived to be almost 100 years old. There are still many mysteries about the life of Sakazuya, but, but we do know that she was strong and full of courage. courage. She was part of a great adventure. Today, we honor, or honor. With, honor her with a golden dollar coin. Mm -hmm. The end.